All right, all right, all right, guys. This is Acer Space with Triple Helix Gaming, and today we're going to learn how to make a farm account in Rise of Empires. Um, obviously, at Triple Helix Gaming, guys, we are bringing the most informative multilingual content to games all around the world. I hope you guys are enjoying the newest update in Rise of Empires. We got new steel color icons. We have slightly better definition throughout the game, and the only thing I really don't like are the building base number levels. Um, they're a little harder to see at a distance. You have to kind of zoom in in order to get exactly where they are. So I hope the developers improve that. But uh, either way, while they're trying to fix that, you guys can check out triplehawks.com. Check out our hourly schedule for all of the daily challenge events. But today, we're going to go over the purposes of a farm account and how to make them. Let's go ahead and get started. We build farm accounts for various reasons. The main reason, obviously, is an infinite supply of personal resources that can later be shared with your alliance members and your state. See, farm accounts can act as second battle bases, resource accounts, defense bases during uh, Reign of Chaos events. They can even be traps during KE and even more importantly, national quest manipulators, plus so much more. Farms can be both active and passive, and I love passive farm accounts, so the follow-up video to this will be called The Perfect Passive Farm of Rise of Empires. Still, but first, we must learn how to at least make one. So, once you're on your main account like I am right now, clearly, you can simply hit your menu button right here on the right side underneath your gifts and sending help, which I always like to do, and once you click that menu, the four little options will pop up. You hit the three dots at the top. This takes you to the settings menu. Now, once you select that, you select the second option on this menu that says account, which looks like a controller on my game. And from here, you're going to want to make sure that your account is bound. Obviously, I'm Acer Spades, Castle 21 in this particular account. You would hit bind account. You would always choose IM30 so that IM30 can go ahead and manage all of your accounts. Just an FYI, guys, just a quick side note. The developers fully know that this is happening and allow us to do it. So please remind all your Alliance members how important this is and to share this video with them. This is a normal part of gameplay. It is definitely not cheating. Believe me, it's being done constantly. It's not a hack. It's part of the game. But you would hit I am 30 for binding. Mine's obviously all, already done. But uh, if yours is not... What you will do is you'd enter an email address. They're going to send a verification to that email address. And yet another side note needs to be stated. You need to consider making a brand new email for all game functions and all game accounts. So if you are brand new to Rise of Empires, don't use your main email that you always use. Because if you don't and you make a new one, it will give you the option to sell the accounts that you create, including your farms, for the future just in case you stop playing for any reason. So once your main account is verified and you will get the in-game email along with a small gift if it's your first time doing it, and then you simply choose start new game. So from there, you'd go back to your menu and you go back to account and at the bottom here, you would go to start new game. And you go, hey, okay, da da da, if you do this, it's gonna overwrite, that's perfectly okay, guys. From that, it's going to start a brand new game. Now this is where things get a little boring, so as I go and load up, I'm going to go ahead and speed up all this option for you. Okay, guys? Super boring.
Okay guys, it looks like as soon as you build your distillery, it gives you the option to go back to your menu. So from here, it immediately tell you that because you built a new account, you're gonna to want to bind that account. So I'll go ahead and select bind account at IM30 again, and I'll create an IM30 account. From this point, you're gonna enter an email address. Hopefully you already have one built. Now, just so we're clear, if you already have an email address, you can actually use this really cool email address hack. Like obviously I have my own name and then I have my gaming email. I can simply put in my gaming email and if I did, I can also just add, say, a period in between that. So instead of triplehogsgaming at gmail.com, I can add t.ripleholicsgaming at gmail.com. And that will allow me to use the same email address for multiple accounts. This is currently still working, guys. So make sure you give it a shot. You would then add in a new password. And I will not show you that on film, but you can certainly do that. And it will send a verification to the same email. Now, Side note, guys, you can actually continue to do this all throughout. So I can do tripaholics at gmail.com for the next one, tripaholicsgaming at gmail.com. And if I wanted to, I can probably do tripaholics.gaming at gmail.com. And you can do this for all I know in this game, infinite amount of times, depending on how long your email address is. So use the same email if you can until things change. It immediately said that it's going to send a verification email like it did when you first found your account in your main account. And it says currently email not confirmed. Let's go check it out. You'll see right away at the top of my Triple Hulk's gaming email, Rise of Empires asked me to confirm my new account. And I'm going to click their little link here that you will also get on yours. And look, congratulations, T. Ripaholics gaming at gmail.com has been confirmed and again i didn't actually put a dot in a new email for this i'm simply using tripleholics.com or tripleholics gaming at email uh, gmail to get this done when you go right back to the game guys it's going to immediately say success you immediately done that and now that this has been bound i can go ahead and build this account up and move it wherever i want now, just so we're clear, guys, once that farm account is built and bound, it allows me now to go back to account and I can go to switch account at this point if I wanted to. It'll be at the top, which is in state 142, but I can go to any of my other farm accounts in any other place if I choose. Now we're going to get to the most important factor. In order to move forward, guys, so that you can do what you need to do, you need to be able to exit your city in order to commence a migration so you have to go a little further in the game and we're going to do that right now sped up of course
All right, well, guys, it looks like once you complete chapter three and go through a few of those fancy assemblies, you should now be able to enter your world map by hitting the bottom right icon, which takes you in and out of your city. And from here, you should be able to then hit the coordinates in the middle. We're currently at 142, but I am from province 93, as all should know. I can go ahead and collect, select that area. And if I want to, I should now be able to click once I have now hit province 93 and any coordinates I wanted, I can go ahead and hit change zones with my level three base. Can't change provinces after this for 14 days. Join this would be a newbie relocation item that we've gotten for free. Do you want to join this zone? Yes, I would like to join and I click it. And guess what? My farm account that I've just created has now joined me in a random area in province 93 and look my buddy satanic bling that yeah shout out to kfh man i hope we figure it out in province 93 either way still got my last shelter family and i love everyone in my alliance so that being said guys now you know how to make a farm account you build it up from here you will put it into any alliance you want except for your own and then you will attack it freely for all the resources you want or build it as a second base or any of the above mentioned reasons moving forward. That is all, my friends. If you have any questions or concerns, reach out to me at tripleholics.com for more information. Also look forward to our blogs and all of our other information on tripleholics.com. And this has been another video from Acer Spades at Tripleholics Gaming. And I'm signing out.